welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the capricorn sun moon horizon sign it is the month of may 2018 and the month of may is um, a month of positive energy because the energy of the empress is here in the month of may and it is also the month of the energy vibration so for you capricorns it's going to be actually a very wonderful um, month that is happening for you guys because the empress is here and it's also your own energy vibration zodiac energy in this month um, we begin the first two and a half weeks because there's five weeks in this month and the zodiac energies in this month is um the energy of uh, um um a lot of um um changes that was going to be happening um i'm seeing the energy of fire hair um fire air and uh, fire fire air and earth energies so um and endings are happening and um it is positive endings uh it is uh situations and people who you need to leave behind um you know it's it's a change that is going to be transpiring um between some of you and other people and this is going to be good no matter what is happening you have a very strong foundation um, not to worry there are going to be changes that is coming in but we need to have changes it can be changes in relationships but we need to have it is a time where changes are coming in okay so let's look at your month because the, um, the first two and a half week is the energy from the hurt and the second two and a half weeks you are going to be receiving the in the energies the zodiac energies of the hair so um the first week the first week we have the energy of the seven of wands so in the first week you are protecting yourself from someone between the ages of 18 and uh, and this is a female energy for some people it can be a male energy that you're protecting yourself from someone between the ages of 18 till 40 18 between the ages of 18 and 40 whoever this person is um, you're bringing an end to this situation because whoever this person is it is an Aries for some of you it is an Aries person and you have ended the situation you have brought the situation to an end because um, the Sagittarius is here and it's coming so uh, the end of April you automatically um, hand this situation you decide to bring whatever the situation is to the end because it is no longer serving you so whoever this person is and whatever she was he or she was doing you decide coming out of the month of April that I will no longer um, deal with this um, person and um, you have removed them and decide to remove them once and for all out of your life as we look at um, the energies going in the second week you have your own um, energy vibration which is the Queen of um, Pentacles so the Queen of coins so the Queen of coins is is, is your energy but it can also be a tar Taurus or a Virgo now the energy of the Empress this is actually your months you Capricorns because the energy of the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles is a, is a very very positive energy so whatever that is transpiring you're trying to protect yourself from this Prince of Wands at the first week going in the second week and you're basically standing up and said no more no more I don't need you in my life I don't need no more of your bullshit okay and this is going to be working out in a positive way because you have a strong foundation and you're saying no you're standing up and you said no I don't need um, this sort of a situation I don't tolerate it and you know you know move away from me basically that's what you're saying so this is good because um, you're in the center of your reading and you're really standing up for yourself in this month. Kugels, kugels to you um, women 
and men um, you're really standing up to someone of a fire sign that you're saying till here and no more and this will is what I will accept in my life and um, this will is what I want and you are standing up in this month of May and you're moving forward in a strong position as we look at the energy in the third week you have the energy of six of coins energy of the six of coins is a positive energy because what this is coming in and saying to you guys is that um, for you ladies or people over the age of 40 um, basically help is coming in for you help is coming in and you're going to be very successful the ace of swords is here you're going to be very very extremely successful so again I'm saying you know this is good because whatever that has transpired in April you you guys were you know out of it in April and now in May um, you are realizing that things and situation are changing and these things and situation that are changing as actually help is coming in and the help that will be coming in could be coming in from other Capricorn people but also from the planet of Mercury so um, the planet of Mercury is always the planet that comes in to help you to remember how to manifest things in your life and this planet is going to be coming in bringing a lot of solutions in the third week week so this is going to be extremely wonderful um as we um look at the third week also um there is going to be help and the help that is going to be coming in with using your intellect um you're going to be overcoming a situation and there is going to be a solution for this whatever the situation is that is playing around because obviously there is something that is happening and um you know you know listen to your own intuition this is what they're saying to listen to your own intuition and you can't go wrong because obviously whatever the situation that is and that is transpiring obviously um, you have a strong foundation and you're going to stand up to this injustice of whatever the situation is a lot of success is going to be coming um, to you huge success is going to be coming to you and um, uh, um, some will be overcoming a situation by using the intellect and there is a victorious success and a solution to whatever the problem is and this will be working out okay as we look at the fourth week the fourth week have you the energy from the night of um this is someone who is uh, i um a leo aries or a sagittarian whoever this person is because um these are the energies that is affecting you guys in um, the ears the in 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 the, in the first week is these people who are in this month that is affecting you guys, and these people are of the fire sign. This is um the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius. They're both male and female, and they are affecting you. But for the female, there is going to come an end to it and for the male you're trying to protect yourself from this person but there is a huge celebration that is coming in because this person is just you have signed a a um soul contract with this person this is where all this irritation and situations is coming in and it is it is, it is irritations for you because you can see their that in the fifth week you're finally going to use the sword of truth to tell the truth and said listen um this is ending now okay uh and you're going to be celebrating this this oh this win because it is going to be um a week of celebration so for you guys um the second week and uh, the third week is going to be of positive energy uh, page of swords um, so 
um, the fifth week is the energy of the page of swords and it's as if your guides and angels are sending you information listen to what they're saying they are um, you know producing information listen to what they are saying because they will be sending you information via the intuition your outcomes of this month as you see is the energy of the wheel of fortune so success will be coming in for some of you um, people over the ages of four just a lot of success for the rest of the people it's going to be um, extremely a positive month where you seems to be overcoming the situation and especially situation to deal with the fire sign people endings will be coming um, Saturnus is going to be coming in your life to remove these Aries people out of your life and um, you know um, bring an end to whatever the situation is a once and for all and then we are going to be having a situation where um, the, the universe is lining up stuff for you it's as if they have seen what you have gone through and now it's as if it is your time to shine it is as if the wheel of fortune and the stars is lining up to bring in forth your success and that which is um, for you so a lot of stuff is happening in this month but it's as if the universe because the, the, the wheel of fortune and the star together is a positive energy because what is transpired is that the universe um, has transpired together to bring you what you have been manifesting and what you have been asking for and they are going to they are lining this up between the fourth the the, the, the end of the fourth week and the fifth week they are lining this up um so that you are going to be seeing these energies and whatever you have been trying to manifest your materialistic um situation the things in your life um, your materialistic wealth they're lining this up and making sure that you will receive this this wealth so whatever the situation is and whatever this is transpiring um, in your life you're going to be having a really successful ending to this month thank God it's five week because then a lot of people have more time um, to deal with certain aspect and certain situation in their lives and um, by using the intellect by using the intellect you're going to be able to overcome a lot of things but use it in a positive way because I I know the energies that has been happening is that um, you um, Capricorns need to be aware of how you speak because I'm um, I myself I'm realizing that the energies are so strong and um, a situation that I'm realizing also is that for the um, the vegetarians and, and and the people who are trying to stop eating certain things and if you actually start eating it back and that sort of a thing you become very aggressive is because of what you're putting in your body and especially for the people on the fourth and fifth dimension if you realize that you're being very aggressive or anxious or that sort of a thing it's because of what you're eating so um, you know it can be that you're having a rush from sugar because you haven't been having sugar maybe some people are on a sugar diet and that sort of a thing so um, actually beware of these situation because these situation can be coming out love love it's gonna be um th there is a balance there is a balance to a lot of stuff which is good there is a balance to a lot of stuff that is happening in your life. So, um, love is, you know, there is wonderful situation in love that is going to be coming in for you, um, Capricorns, in this month of May. 
um, a lot of people are seems to be understanding themselves and by understanding themselves love um, you're going to be so um, feeling comfortable in your own skin and then you you are going to realize how much you're opening up to the possibilities of either new love or the possibility of your partner you're going to be realizing because the love is vibrating on each person in this month so you Capricorns are going to have a high energy vibration of love um, communicating connecting this is just going to be extremely extremely positive in love for you Capricorn so um, uh, you know the, for the Capricorns who have a relationship with um, the fire sign especially the younger people 18 um, till 40 be aware of um, who these you know be aware of what can happen um, and that sort of a thing so that you don't get in a situation um, that is you know so as you get in the situation it's coming to an end so um, be aware of this whatever the situation that you have to deal with with especially for you people who uh, were born um, the moon people whatever situation that you have to deal with um, with people of air sign and that sort of a thing um, be 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 careful that you use your words very positive okay um, don't be so rash um, sometimes it's better not to say 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 anything than saying something that is going to be hurting someone else but I think um, for most Capricorns um, the ones who have let people walked over them their entire life they're like standing up and said no this is it uh, uh, it's not happening okay and this is good because basically what you're doing is that you're standing up to the injustice and the abuse that you have been having and you just let people just walk over you and do things against you. you're standing up and you're saying no to this and this is good um, this is a time that you need to heal and um, this is where you're saying um, no I will not accept it any anymore for you Capricorns especially the people who the Sun people um, you are going to be having to deal with these areas Saturn is going to come and remove them out of your life whether in business whether in friendship whatever the relationship is that's coming to an end there is a situation where the number 33 is plain for a lot of you there is the three for celebration there is the month energy that is the number three then you have the same energy for your energy in the month of May so there's twice 33 coming in um, so you guys have the number 33 to deal with in this month okay um, the number 33 is always the energy vibration of the um, um, the energy of uh, the uh, ascendance masters okay and this is good because um what is happening is that ascendance masters are coming in to connect with you new love is coming in there is going to be a transition um in um love for a lot of you um Taurus is so open up to the energies um for the lunar people Capricorn you're standing up for yourself and uh, and and some um and and other Capricorns will be helping you and supporting you throughout this time okay so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um you know leave a message about this layout and let's see what is going to happen you know this is the time that I like to change up the readings. It's um, not really a positive time at the moment um, with the debt in my family. So I decided to do the readings um, like this. Please like, share these videos, and I'm saying that we'll stay till next time. Mm -hmm.